hey, I'm glad to be here and good to see you all and amazing videos that we had on before or that you had put on before. Great stuff. And I've been to Athens, Georgia before, by the way, I played I played a record store. It was in Midtown. Um, I can't describe it probably, probably, but it was quite an area where lots of venues were. And I played there with the great Eugene Chatbourne, the guitarist from North Carolina. So yeah, I love Athens and I want to be back to America next year, January through March. And I want to travel some more. So maybe I can see some more of Athens again. So, okay, I play some and I kick it off with, I kick it off with a Russian tune that I've played, that I've been playing all my life by myself with Russian friends as well great friend of mine. She's born in Siberia and is living in Kaiserslautern or K-Town, as the American army people like to say. It's called Midnight in Moscow. It was a, it was a huge um, Dixieland traditional jazz hit in the 50s for an English guy named Kenny Ball, and I like this very much. And I think it's a horrible idea to stay away from Russian culture due to the terrible stuff that's happening right now. So I say, no, it's the music that connects us and it should not be pushed away for this. So, okay, Midnight in Moscow right here. <laughs>
let us a little blues. Um, I call it Paris blues, but because I've I've had been to Paris, been playing there a couple of years ago, and I like those, you know, that mu music by um, Serge Gainsbourg and stuff like sixties jazz, a very melancholic type of jazz. Also, that great movie where Miles Davis put the music to um, elevated to the zum Schafford, elevated to the guillotine or something. That's it. And now with the current situation, traveling has become an issue again. It's crazy, crazy. It's so crazy because like for a couple of decades, we could just, you know, go wherever we wanted. I'd be playing Prague, Praha, Czech Republic next week for three days, which is like pretty, yeah, you know, it's like that direction. And, um, well, and yesterday I've been driving home from a city called Freiburg, which is in Western Germany. And I listened to a lot of Elvis Presley. I bought an Elvis triple CD at the gas station. So I do the one German song that Elvis did, and I like I like Elvis, and I like Elvis movies. I'm probably the only person in the world who likes Elvis movies, but doesn't mind. Um, doesn't matter. Um, it's called um, what he called it, Wooden Heart. Originally, it's called Musi Den, and the lyrics he sings in German they're so funny because they actually retranslated from it's German translated into English, <laughs> and then retranslated into German. So the German he sings. His pronunciation is pretty good, but 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 the words he sings, you you would just never say them say them in Germany. It's like Google Translate twice. But I like the tunes. I like the tune, and I like Alice's delivery and the scene with the puppets and everything. You know the tune. <laughs>
guess my 15 minutes are over. Thank you so much for having me. This was Fräulein, as you, I'm sure you know, this is a, not a German tune at all. It's written uh, by, well, it's, it has been sung by Bobby Helms and it was designed to cater to American soldiers being stationed in Germany. So it has all these sceneries about the River Rhine and all that, but it's, I like it very much and it's a classic Texas tune. Thanks so much for listening and carry on. <laughs>